hello. Jarmug plays the only mountains downhill. What's going on? What's going on? We're in Sierra Rivera, uh, making our way through you and unlocking all the all the stuff in the game. Not too bad, not too shabby. You know, it, it's not sweat drop season quite yet. Uh, it's going to be 20 episodes from now or so. Um, maybe less. Uh, you know, when, when they start fusing the, the challenges, the crashes, and the speed, that's when it gets... That's, that's when... The stories are going to slow down a little bit. Maybe we, we, we only do one... At, at a time uh, for an episode but yeah for now it's easy going easy does it uh, that's not entirely true I guess we're <laughs> we're struggling with a couple things and that's not a good thing uh, I'll admit but you know since when has struggling been a good thing Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We just, uh, we just had to figure, we, a lot of our, uh, experiences in, in this game before, you know, it translates. And, uh, we found a lot of the shortcuts already, so we just have to, we just kind of have to remember them and utilize them. Uh, as smoothly as possible. Is that what's happening right now? No, uh, I'll admit. But you know, this is this is definitely one of the tougher levels. I'll have to say. Okay. Okay. Yep. Smooth jump. Slow ride. Doom, doom, gong, gong. Um. Yep. Yeah. I've been uh, I've been eating Wendy's for lunch sometimes, and I forgot just how g I got I got their uh, peach lemonade uh, recently, and I just I forgot how like how good <laughs> Wendy's lemonade is, and uh, lemonade's like you know I guess it's not hard to to mess up, but they do make it seem pretty authentic like it's not just water sugar and flavor like a, a flavor packet you know it does actually seem like you know just like the rest of their food it, it seems like it's pretty authentic like somebody put some care and thought into how it, it was gonna taste and uh, that that translates through so I know I'm speaking about fast food, like it's some sort of uh, artisanal... <laughs> personally crafted, you know, homemade good. But it, it does, like, Wendy's is a lot closer to that than, than like, um, a McDonald's or Burger King for sure. Although, just like Pepsi, I feel like Burger King doesn't, uh, it, it gets a lot of flack. You know, people, people really like to beat up on, yes, I'm going on the defense of Pepsi and Burger King at the same time. They're both really good, okay? <laughs> we are a Pepsi family, though, and I, I feel like uh, just just to compare it side by side with Coke, and I know all you soda, like non-soda fans are just like, they're both bad. I want my LaCroix. I want my Bubble. Um, but those are pretty much the, the, the carbonated water. It, it has no taste. You know, you're, you're drinking it because, I don't know, you like beer a lot I, I've only ever uh, I've only ever heard of people liking you know bubbly and LaCroix if you enjoy alcoholic or mixed drinks or just just regular beer in general just because like I don't know your taste buds are already um what's the word I'm looking for <laughs> I don't want to say destroyed 
<laughs> you you like the taste of like uh, like bread in your drink. If you like the taste of bread in your drink, then you probably like the taste of uh, nothing in your drink. Does is that as offensive as I as it seems to to myself right now? Um, <laughs> should, I, should I care? I uh, I just uh, so uh, yes. In in defending Pepsi, I've now offended like you know ninety percent of uh, adults. Um, that's fine. You know, hot takes, hot takes rule the internet. That's how we go viral, boys. That's is how we. Uh, this is how we make it. <laughs> um. But yeah, so the problem with Coke, besides being uh, a reference to cocaine, you know, if you if you want your kids to be referencing cocaine uh, in in the uh, uh, whenever they reach for the refreshing beverage, the the struggling sound wasn't because of the argument. The struggling sound was definitely because of Lonely Mountains. Just in case anyone's keeping track. Because... This challenge is pretty tough. It's, you know, six crashes, 150. Uh, hold on. Where were we? And so the problem with Coke... Is... And you're not going to like this because every time you have it, you're going to be reminded and you're going to be like, mm, he ruined Coke for me. Um, you guys ever have, uh, what's that candy? Starbursts? And you might be Starbursts fans, yes. Uh, and I, I, I like the flavor of Starbursts, I'll admit. Like it, it's nice. It's it's strong. It's it's punchy, um, but there is an innate problem <laughs> with starbursts, uh, which is after your there's something there that's glitched up, dude. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Let's do these one at a time. Um. Yeah, the, the problem with Starbursts is the same problem I have with Coke, which is, which is after consuming it. I, I don't know what happens with, like, the back of my uh, throat or, you know, whatever chemical process happens. Whatever they do artificially to create their flavor is just like a... You know, uh, watch your ears if you have, like, a cringe... Um, Reflex with the word phlegm, but there's like uh, there's a buildup that happens. There's a buildup of of just like concentrated whatever gunk is after having starbursts or coke. That I have to like spit out afterwards. A lot of you guys are gonna be like, "No, that's just you. That's your your uh, you know you're having it." But you know, if 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 you are on my camp, please comment. Yes, I'm on your camp. I I have that same exact phenomenon. <laughs> it doesn't happen with fountain coke either, like at restaurants. So, like, when someone asks Coke or Pepsi at a restaurant, I'm like, I don't care. Like, is Coke fine when I ask for Pepsi? I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> but, like, canned Coke or Coke in a two-liter bottle, they all have it. I, I don't know why. Okay, I'm just getting destroyed by glitches right now. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just, just breathe. Um, but yeah, it, it, it just makes the whole, excuse me, it just makes the whole process just not fun. 
And by the process, I mean like consuming a beverage that's supposed to be refreshing. And now it's like, it's just a... Uh, it, it just adds like a chore of like having to spit out a, a wad of grossness. Yes, I know. Very scientific. Yeah, it sounds like a legitimate argument. Ew, it's gross. <laughs> In my opinion, yes. It's, it's very legitimate because I, I hate it. I hate it, man. It's not good. I'm going to name this episode Gunk. <laughs> Which, this all falls backwards again. On the lemonade issue, because lemonade for sure has that gunk issue. Which is a lot more understandable in my opinion, because it's got lemons in it, man. <laughs> It's got stuff from concentrate. I I will take the uh, I'll take the chore of like clear clearing my uh, my throat for the flavor that lemonade has. But then right after that, you know, the conversation is limeade versus lemonade. Limeade doesn't have that gunk, but it's way more refreshing. It's just Okay, so limeade is the king. Like, if you have a Sonic near you and you haven't had a, ch a, a cherry limeade, go do yourself a favor. Grab one of those. Like, it's it, it. I'm just. I'm. I'm telling you right now. Like, you could tell the excitement from me stuttering like a like a baboon. <laughs> Just go, the limeade. Just go, <laughs> do it now. Okay, we can finish this one. I like, I like how this level looks though. This is good optimization. Good stuff, Mega Gun. I don't know, I don't know if you guys did the, the port yourselves, but if you did, hats off to ya. It's it's very it's a fantastic port. Take it from someone who's spent you know ninety eight episodes on the PC version. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have peach lemonade from Wendy's. Mm. Um, the, I I was gonna not go to Wendy's ever again, or at least the one that I that's near my um my work. Uh, because they forgot the bacon and no I didn't get the baconator that's way too much like grease and bleh. you know I, I, I like um, I, I think this is in stark contrast with like the kid version of me um, which makes sense because you know kids don't like vegetables just because it's not cool to like vegetables, uh, it probably for like no other reasons, but whenever you're an adult, you're just like, hmm, lots of color. Color means flavor, you know, flavor means spice, variety, spice of life, etc., etc. Uh, but yeah, so I get the, which one do I get? It's like the the Dave's bacon special or something like that. It's basically, it's basically like a like a regular burger, but with the oh we uh, okay hold on this is Maka S Central right now. I think we want to go through the shortcut, but I forget. Where it is, there it is. There we go. Bob and weave. Silent Bob and weave. Okay. All right, there we go. Um. But yeah, the 
the regular Wendy's sandwich with uh, with the bacon on it. Mm, 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 mm. Real good stuff. It's like it's better than like a sit down restaurant's burger. Like no, I'm not even joking with you. Like <clears throat> you you give a you give me a Red Robin burger or a Chili's Applebee's burger versus a Wendy's bacon. Uh, Dave's special. <sighs> First of all, I mean they're they're kind of priced similarly. You know, it was ten bucks for a double. Uh, but with the combo and everything, uh, Red Robin and Applebee's are probably going to charge you upwards like fifteen bucks plus tip for uh, for the cultures. The tip. Um. But man. It is good stuff. It's good eats. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I just ate lunch and I'm getting, I'm salivating. Salivation extravaganza. Okay, okay. Do we want to take the shortcut or not? It dead end into like. A weird spot which makes me not want to take that shortcut but I also just don't want to repeat this section <sighs> we crash at the same spot okay well we didn't crash at the same spot that time but oh that's a crash we went really high there do you think this game would benefit from like an elevation meter <clears throat> I bet you I bet you they had like a conversation about how uh how much UI they actually want to put how much UI they actually want to put on the screen. Sorry, I'm focusing a little bit here. Okay, okay. There we go. We're through. We're through. We're through. Okay, good turn, good turn. But yeah, so... Ugh, there we go, good stuff. So, if you're trying to figure out what to, to eat for lunch today, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've, I've sold you. Unless you're like a vegetarian or something. Or just don't like burgers. Are, are there people that don't like burgers? I guess, you know, there's probably people that don't like pizza, burgers, hot dogs. You know, those are very Americanized foods. It's just like how everybody, everybody around here just, like, doesn't like fish. Although, like, fish and chips is just, like, one of the best meals ever. Period. I would put it in the same category as pizza. And, like, mm, I was about to just nonchalantly put fried chicken into that but no fried chicken is just like you give me some fried chicken and some rice that's that's gonna win over uh, a lot of uh, competitors I would say <laughs> all right uh, yeah well that's gonna do it for this one and thank you so much for uh, for listening in and hope you enjoyed the episode if you did hit that like button, hit that sub button Tell your friends, etc., etc. Uh, let me know if you're playing this game on the Switch, um, and uh, how it's performing for you. You probably, I mean, if you hadn't purchased it before, then you know. Um, I technically didn't like purchase purchase it until I got it on the Switch. Then, uh, cause I got it on Xbox Game Pass. Um, but yeah. I don't know. Details for me tells. Thank you so much for watching. We just unlocked the fourth main. No, we haven't unlocked the fourth mountain. Hold on. Oh, we got to do the beginner devil's cut. Okay. Well, we're going to unlock the fourth mountain. Mountain? Mount Tint. That'd be a cool name for a mountain. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. See ya. Peace. Peace. See ya. Reese's Pieces. All right. Too much recording today.